Brewing drugs at home, bionic eyes, cheap technology, and H265 might end up being a thing. These are today's bits. A new prototype machine called Pharma aims to give any average consumer the ability to brew their own prescriptions at home. Designed by an MIT graduate, the new device will use blue-green algae that is genetically modified to produce the desired pharmaceutical drug. Built with a large cylinder to hold the algae, Pharma will measure, filter, and dry the produced drug into powder form. This type of pharmaceutical production has already been proven to work by growing opiates from genetically modified yeast. A company called Zymergen uses a combination of robots and proprietary software to calculate and test different strands of DNA that can be used to produce various types of drugs from this algae. Now, of course, this is still in very early stages and really is only a proof of concept right now, but the designer believes that the technology could be ready for widespread use in five to 10 years. I, for one, see absolutely no way this kind of system could ever be abused. Researchers in Australia are working on a new way to give sight to the blind, and this time it doesn't involve repairing damaged tissue. Instead, they want to create a fully artificial implant that will transmit information directly to a person's brain. This new electrical implant will be installed by removing a section of the patient's skull and then placing the device directly onto the visual cortex of the person's brain. Then a set of special glasses will be worn by the user that records information and transmits that data to the implant. The implant will then use the data to simulate or to stimulate the brain using an array of tiny electrodes. With all that gruesome stuff out of the way, the end result will be a series of dots that the patient will see, allowing them to perceive basic shapes and maybe even some faces. The first implant is actually planned for next year. I can't help but to think of this as a, a starting ground to a much more sophisticated device in the future. Even though the resolution is very limited and poor and you need glasses for the camera, it's easy to imagine getting a lot better and more compact, even to the point of an artificial eyeball that looks like a regular eyeball. Then of course the resolution could get way better and possibly move on to color and then it may follow the same evolutionary path as the television. And then of course Skynet takes over because unrelated. Speaking of unrelated, consumer technology is about to get a lot cheaper starting in 2016. In case you didn't know, and I'll pretend that I did, a tax placed on almost all imported technology could be as high as 35%. The amount changes from country to country, but the end result is a much higher cost for a consumer. Now, the World Trade Organization is ending tariffs on imports such as game consoles, TVs, and advanced microchips starting in July of 2016. The entire move is expected to take right around seven years to complete, but after it's done, 201 categories will be exempt from import tax. The latest and greatest form of media encoding is called H.265. This new video compression technology allows 4K video to be twice as efficient as H.264 while still holding its amazing quality. The only issue is that patent holders that own this want a crap load of money to use it in widespread applications such as Netflix or Amazon Prime. Now it seems that they're going to be loosening their grip and offering a substantial break in their price. This could be due in fact that other people are aggressively developing royalty-free compression methods that could directly compete with their technology. So far, the pricing requirements have severely limited the adoption rate of the new technology. So now with this new mindset, we might start seeing it being used more often. This proves once again that a little competition is great for the consumer. Well, that's all for today, guys. Follow me at Twitter at underscore bite my bits, like and subscribe below, and thank you for watching.